Wow, weird and mixed positive reviews for the new Doherty Explorer live action film that we're not anticipating for. What do I think of this movie? Let's find out. Dora and the Last City of Gold. So Dora and the Last City of Gold is the live action Doherty Explorer movie. This is based on a TV show called Doherty Explorer, which is what I love as a kid. This movie is directed by Josh Boblin and stars Isabella Munir, Eva Longora, Michael Pena, Egano de Bez, Jeff Wahlberg, and Benicio Del Toro. And this movie basically centers on a grown-up version of Dora the Explorer. She lives in a jungle with her parents and her parents want her to go somewhere and grow up. So she goes to Hollywood and goes to high school where she can fit in. And of course she couldn't fit in because she's very adventurous, she's very over the top. Until we find out that her parents is missing. So she goes on an adventure with her new friends that she met in high school to go find the lost city of gold and also retrieve Dora's parents. Now, of course, everyone's not anticipating to see this film, including myself. I have nothing against Dora the Explorer because I loved Dora the Explorer as a kid. It used to be one of my favorite shows as a kid. But when I found out they're making a live action Dora movie, I'm like, really? Hollywood, do you have to do that? Like, there's so many other movie ideas you can do. And the trailers look absolutely atrocious. There is actually one trailer, every time I go to Hoyts, I always see this trailer. They kind of parody The Lion King with that trailer, saying, you know the king of the jungle, but you haven't met the queen of the jungle, and yes, it shows Dora. And I'm like, that is one of the worst trailers that I've ever seen this year. So I went to a very early screening of this movie because of two things. One, I'm trying to get over after because that was one of the worst movies that I have ever seen in my life. And second, I just want to see it before everyone else does because I heard America already saw it. This movie's coming out on September 19th, so this is a very, very early screening. I'm lucky to go see this early screening. So, what do I think of Dora and the Last City of Gold? Well, this is pretty embarrassing, but... I enjoyed this movie. This movie really surprised me. I do not expect this new Dora the Explorer movie to be fun and entertaining and a movie that can bring the whole family to it. And this is definitely a movie mostly for kids, but there is something that adults will like in this movie. And that's what I really like about this film, is that it's a film that just knows what it is. It's not trying to be that serious. It knows what it's trying to do. And the plot of this movie, I get what's going on, because what else they could do with a Dora the Explorer live action film instead of Dora growing up and spoiling high school? We can't just get a live action Dora movie with a talking bull, a talking lizard, and all that stuff. I think Dora Surviving High School is probably a better plot for this movie, and honestly, it brings out some funny aspects of this movie. Also, Isabella Monera as Dora, I thought she did a really fantastic job. She's the one that stole this movie for me. I just see her as Dora, not Isabella Monera, and that is fantastic. I thought Isabella Monera is a really great young guy she's working today. I loved her in Sicario, even liked her in Transformers, especially Instant Family, great performance in that movie. I reckon Dora is probably nearly her best performance. I thought she'd done a really great job in this film. Also, we got Jeff Wahlberg as Diego. Now, I love Diego as a kid. I really do. I thought Diego is one of the most badass characters in the series. And I thought Diego is different, but I liked him in the film. And his chemistry with Dora is very big focus of this film because they were best friends as kids. So, I think it brings a lot of heart to this film as well. But also, the parents in the film, Dora's parents, Eva Lagora and Michael Pena, I thought they also did a really great job in the film. And my biggest surprise with this film is Benito Del Toro as Swiper the Fox. I thought he did a pretty good job, and they kind of handled him the way they should have handled him in this film. He works for the bad guys in the film, and I think that's probably the perfect opportunity to put Swiper in there. And I thought the look of Swiper and Boots do not look as bad as I thought, because the trailers are like, they look like Sonic the Hedgehog bad. But no, they do look good for a Dora movie. Like, they do look good enough. I'm not trying to make, like, a Tom Favre version of it, because it'll probably be even worse. This animation looks really freaking good. And I like the adventure aspect of this movie. It's just fun. It was entertaining. It was exciting. Like, I think most of the adventure aspects, I wasn't bored during it. I was actually having fun with it. I know, this is a Dora movie. I thought I was going to give this movie an F and all that stuff. Rent it. No. I enjoyed a Dora movie. It's really weird to say this, but I think everyone will think the same thing that this is weird to say it. But it's true, this new Dora movie wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It's actually the biggest surprise of this year. But it doesn't mean it doesn't have flaws though. First of all, this movie just has no like originality to it. This movie is just a cliche fun adventure movies for kids and family. And I think 
I accept that flaw because th there's nothing they can do with a Dora movie to make it that serious. This movie is just a fun, energetic, exciting movie. Also, we got the other friends that Dora has made in the film, and I thought most of them are just forgettable. Especially this teenage girl in the film. I don't know the actress' name or her character's name. She's that cheerleader, like, bully-type character that gets along with Dora throughout the movie, and I thought she's very annoying. She's one of those characters that goes, Oh, that happened. Oh, that happened. Like, that's her in the entire movie, and I thought she's annoying. Even Agano DeBez in the film, I hope I say his name right, is very forgettable as well. He's trying to be one of those comedic adventure characters, and there's also a twist with his character that I did not expect, and I think that's the best part of his character, but throughout that, his character was just kind of annoying, and I like him. He's a funny actor, but he's kind of annoying in the center of that. I don't like his character that much. But that is it, guys. Overall, Dora and the Lost City Girl is the biggest surprise of 2019. I honestly really enjoyed this film. I know this film's coming in September, so I do recommend you guys take your kids to see this movie on September. I watched a very early screen of it, but if you have gone to early screen of it, good job for you. But bring the kids and family to see this film. I think this is a movie for that. I honestly enjoyed it, but I wouldn't rewatch this movie all over again, you know what I mean? This is just a movie that's just, you know, I'm bored. I'm going to go see a new Dora movie, and it's actually probably the biggest surprise of 2019. I really enjoyed this movie, guys. Take your fans to see this film, because I'm going to give Dora and the Lost City of Gold a B. So, guys, that is my early review for Dora and the Lost City of Gold. Guys, let me know what you think of this movie in the comments below. If you liked me, hated me, or thought it was disappointing. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, notify for my latest reviews, and make sure you guys follow me on Facebook, Stars, Instagram, and Twitter. Keep contact with me, and... Have a nice day.